So one other thing to mention is the transmission on this. The automatic transmission doesn't have a fill port, so um, it's supposedly filled for life, and uh, that's uh, ordinarily for maybe a 10-year life expectancy, but uh, they're built to be better than that with some maintenance. So. Uh, With this one, it's got a, a fill plug, a drain plug, uh, fill plug, drain plug. But up above that is uh, a fill spout. And that little plastic fill spout goes up inside the transmission about an inch and a half or so. And uh, the directions are a little confusing on that. So if you drain it, and then fill it to only the level at the top of the drain spout, then you do not have enough fluid in it. Uh, it'll be fine if you do that once or twice maybe, but if you keep doing it that way, third, fourth time, it's gonna get lower each time. So um, yeah, you gotta put um, at least a quart above that fill spout. Uh, say two to three liters is what's recommended after completely draining it. If you completely remove that fill spout and completely drain it and when you fill it back up if you use between two and three liters um, each time you do that three four times and uh, you, you've got a pretty good clean transmission at, at that point. Um, the filter uh, has such a fine mesh screen on it that you might as well change it because it's probably going to be hard to clean. So here's the homemade fill plug for the transmission, which is simply a bolt, which has been drilled through, uh, and the copper has been pressed in there to make a nice snug fit. Now, you need a soft bolt to do this, so the metric uh, class is 8.8, .8, which is the soft class uh, of metric bolt and that's a 1.0 pitch um, somewhere between a half an inch and an inch long so you just drill your pilot hole from this end and uh, and ream it out with I think it's I used a quarter inch probably but uh, however you want to fix your tube in there that's how you do it otherwise you got to pay you know, 40 bucks or so for the nice little knurled tool that they sell you, but this is really probably better. All right, here's the situation with the automatic transmission refill. There's no refill tube on the top, so you have to run uh, kind of like an intravenous unit uh, on the top here, uh, about three quarts of two twice over, so about six quarts total, and you run your tube down to the pan underneath for your transmission. And then up here you take a 90 weight spigot and uh, you cut it off so it's snug, but it might split if it's too snug, so you want to tape it up there. Uh, puncture it uh, on an incline here, and, um, and that'll work pretty well. Now, the first refill you can see here used ATF, and that got me up to three liters. I don't know if you can read that, but it's the three liter mark. Uh, second time I drained it this time, um, after putting two and a half quarts in, I'm at a two quart level. I drained two quarts out. So obviously, uh, the levels are different by a quart after adding two and a half quarts uh, and I drove the vehicle for several hundred miles some highway miles as well and uh, well it, the fluid didn't expand that much apparently I don't know uh, some fluids expand some don't so um, it seems like a full three quarts uh, for a refill is about what you want 
and I'm pretty sure that was the first refill on this vehicle because all the pan bolts were the same torque and um, you know just uh, all the signs looked like it just had not been uh, ever done before uh, especially because the pan bolts were really pretty loose they, they didn't have much torque at, either, at all about less than 10 foot pounds I'm sure uh, between 5 and 10 foot pounds and all very even so anybody taking that pan off and putting a, a new filter in would have torqued those a little bit more uh, than what the factory did uh, it appears uh, in any case the oil was very black um, you know you can just tell uh, by the smell and everything so um, twice over you know this lightened it up quite a bit and uh, you know uh, it should should work out pretty well at this point so I'd recommend a total of six quarts doing three quarts at a time twice.